Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kay. I'm a professional organizer and singer here in the Boston area. And I make videos on how to get your home organized, clean, and functioning so that you can look for things less and live more. If you like videos like this, I would love if you would consider subscribing. All you have to do is press that red subscribe button down there and press the bell next to it. Make sure it has the parentheses so that you don't miss a single upload. And if you have to subscribe for any reason, you should have subscribed to support Clover, who is my beautiful Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. He's super cute. He needs your support. Subscribe for Clover. So today we're going to talk a little bit about command hooks. I have been a user of command hooks for many, many years, especially since I lived in so many rentals before I bought my own home. The reason it's important that I say I lived in rentals is because oftentimes when you rent apartments or rent houses, the landlord uh, does not want you to put too many holes in the wall or make too many marks on the wall. So command hooks were perfect for that. They're also great for college dorms and other places where they prefer you not to make holes in the wall. This video is not sponsored by 3M. They don't know who I am. I just love command hooks and I wanna show you how I've used command hooks to organize my small home. Command hooks are a product that 3M makes and they are fantastic because they're hooks that you can put onto the wall with a special adhesive and they can re be removed without damaging the wall if you do it very carefully. I have peeled the paint off of walls removing command hooks when I was not careful. So. Be very careful when you are removing command hooks. Okay, let's go look at command hooks all around my house. So one of my favorite ways to use command hooks is to use them in the kitchen. I have used command hooks here inside a kitchen cabinet to hold my pot holders so that I don't have to search around for them. It's right next to my oven so I can just pop open this cabinet here and grab the pot holders. This one I actually installed a little bit too high to the shaker here, shaker front or back of the door here. So I'm not gonna be able to get this off very easily, but you know, I'm not gonna be taking it off anytime soon. So uh, be, be warned if you do install command hooks, install them, make sure that you can actually get the tops off because the, the, the tops of these actually pop off. So my mistake on that one. I'll show you guys in, the, in like another hook how they actually come off. I have used command hooks all over my under sink cabinet in my kitchen. So here is a regular command hook and I'm using it to hold the Swiffer uh, guy here. And I can actually show you how command hooks actually come off. There, it just snaps off just like that. And when you wanna take the command hook off the wall, whoa, you just pull this tab all the way down and it'll, it'll pull this hook off without damaging the surface. So I can just pop that right back on. There, and now the hook is back on. Boom. So I've used command hooks inside of my cabinet to hold a couple of long things. These are a couple of cleaning items. And I've got this guy here, which is used to clean drains. I have to do that very soon because the drain is getting so clogged in, the, in my bathroom. And I also have used command hooks to hold my dish cleaning gloves. So um, I have two methods of hanging here. One, I just um, installed this sort of wire hook and I put these binder clips on here and then I hung them just like that. Um, and in this one, I just was doing a little experiment. I took the binder clips off and I used these cool little um, clo like clip command hooks, um, which still, did they just have like the little adhesive on the back? I don't know if you can see. But this method makes it a little harder to put them back, so I think I will go back to this method. This was much easier, but it's just a little more bulky when you're wearing these gloves. I've also used these wire command hooks to uh, hold on to this little dustpan and broom here that I use to clean very small messes, as you can see. And also the microfiber duster is also on its own little command hook. Very cool. I've used command hooks a lot in my entryway, more than you can actually see. So these shiny, like sort of brushed chrome command hooks, I thought were great for the dog area because I wanted them to look nice and go with my uh, doorknobs and all that stuff, but I didn't want to use like the plain white command hooks. So luckily they sell these beautiful sort of brushed chrome looking ones. And I've got one for Little Bean's collar and one for Little Bean's leash. Speaking of the Little Bean, he's been stalking me this whole time I've been filming. Do you want to say hi to the people? Believe it or not, this Magnetter key organizer is actually hung up with command hooks as well. Check this out.
So on the back of this, I stuck a little bit of the command hook sort of adhesive Velcro kind of material. And on the wall, I've got these two little hooks. Now granted, they are not straight, but when I hung this up, they hang the magnetor straight. So that's the sacrifice I made there. up there quite securely and this is great again for somebody who rents they don't put nails in the wall and they can still have this really cool uh, thing hanging up on their wall I love it I by, by the way I've had this magnetor for like 10 years I love this thing it's from Umbra I will link it down below in case you're curious and for those of you who saw my entryway decorating video these are also hung with command hooks so every now and again I get inspired and I turn them a different direction so there you can see I have the command hook nail uh, feature so it, it acts like a little nail sticking out and as you can see there oh, I've got the waterproof 3M uh, command hook strip so if it gets really humid in here it's gonna be fine but I can put these on any way let's see I've got the little I'm gonna figure out where I can put that there so there's a little, my little nail hole there boom I can turn these whatever way I want. So um, I'm gonna leave those sort of uh, like that for now. They look kind of cute, don't they? Anyway, if you wanna see how I decorated my entryway, I will leave a link to that video as well down below. I think it still looks really cute. Clover, hello. Hello. What are you up to? You want, you want a treat? Is that what you want? You want a treat? Okay, I'll get you a treat. Here you go. There, take it. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. One of my favorite places I've used command hooks is actually in my entryway hall closet. So as you can see, it is a very, very small space. I also have a tour of this space on my YouTube channel. I will link, <laughs> I will leave a link down below, but we have a very small closet between the two of us to hold everything. This is a catch-all closet for our, um, gosh, cleaning items, coats, gloves, uh, utilities, extra toilet paper and <laughs> paper towels, tools, everything. So I had to make sure I used every square inch of this closet. And as you can see, the um, the closet solution that we, I installed, this Alpha Closet Solution, doesn't go all the way to the end of the closet. It leaves about seven inches here, but I used this seven inches to the max. So I used these awesome command hook broom holders to hold the, the dust mop and the broom, and they work brilliantly. They work just as well as if we were to drill holes in the wall and use those. And I also have a little hook back there for the giant dust thing that I used in the refrigerating clean refrigerator video where I went under the fridge and dusted there. And I also have a hook for the big Swiffer duster and of course for Clover's chuck it because that requires very important space and it needs to be the first thing I can grab. And just to let you know, I have the ball that in the chuck it in here, but I have this little, um, this was like one of those little bags that comes with, my, comes with purses. I put this in here because it keeps my purse clean because I put this in my purse as when I walk into the park and that way my purse doesn't get dirty. There, a little hack for you. Some of my favorite command hook solutions have been in my bathroom. So this is my absolute favorite command hook hack that I've come up with. So I know that you guys out there lose these ponytail holders all the time. I was just sick and tired of having them everywhere, so I gave them a designated home inside my bathroom cabinet because that's where I was doing my hair, because hello, I need a big mirror. Um, and this is actually one of those cord hooks, uh, like a cord gathering hook, so I just took this one and put it in the bathroom and it holds my ponytail holders and they never, ever, ever get lost. I can actually probably stand to get rid of a few of these because I'm never gonna lose them. I also put this guy in here because he's holding a microfiber cloth which I use to wipe down the sink every single day. My bathroom cabinet is pretty well organized with this uh, shelf organizer that's meant to go around pipes, but it's also holding some command hook secrets. Because this organizer doesn't go all the way across, I do have some extra space on the side just like I did um, in my 
hall closet. So we've got our Listerines down here. By the way, the, the orange guy is really, bleh. who likes this flavor? If you like this flavor, leave a comment down below. Anyway, to use the maximum amount of this space here, I wanted to use all of the vertical space. So as a curly haired girl, I often have a bottle of water so that I can spray on my hair, but I didn't really have a place to put it because it's really fat on the bottom and there's really, I mean, putting it down there, it was, was upsetting me, right? Because then I can't pull this basket out. However, I found this awesome spray bottle holder from Command. So I bought a couple and I put the spray bottle for the cleaner, bathroom cleaner back there. So I've got the bathroom cleaner and the toilet cleaner on the floor, as you can see underneath. And now all I have to do is place this right there after I'm done using it and it uses up a lot of that vertical space. That was space that was otherwise not going to be used. I love it so much. I actually wanna go out and buy more of these cord uh, holders for command, but I love the command hook cord organizers to organize cords and have them not be so crazy. So I have this big guy here holding up the cords from the vacuum so that they're not so insane. But if I need to move the vacuum or move any of this business, it's not hard for me to get at them. It's even cooler that these are a clear color so that you don't, if, if in case you don't have white walls and you don't, you don't wanna get the white hooks, it won't show. And I've also got this smaller guy down here just to hold everything in place so it doesn't get super crazy but um, I love to put these everywhere I think I actually left some of these in my old condo so I'm gonna have to buy some more I love them I've shown this in a video before but another way to organize with awesome command hooks is to go ahead and use them for hanging bags they can hold a, a lot of weight if they're bigger like this I think this can hold up to 10 pounds but this camera bag definitely is not 10 pounds but I like to put it there anyway because it's nice and fat and it's really really sturdy I also have used command hooks to hold this jewelry holder. This jewelry holder is discontinued from Umbra, but you can find something similar. I will link something similar down below, but I think this is really cute. It's used to hold all of my earrings and necklaces, but instead of just drilling holes into this armoire, which who wants to do that? I have gone ahead and used the plain white command hooks. And if you had a lot more jewelry than this, or if you had a really um, you know, specialized collection of things you really didn't want to even have the chance to get tangled, you can go ahead and hang command hooks and hang your necklaces and bracelets individually on the command hooks. Makes for a great solution. You can also use command hooks to totally just hang art. So we got some beautiful art the other day from a friend and I'm gonna go ahead and hang this. So I'm gonna unpack this and hang it with command hooks. It'll be nice and safe, I promise. Look, isn't that pretty? Okay, so I can see it's got this in the background, so all it needs is maybe a couple of nails to hold it up, just like this. So I'm gonna either, I might just put one, yeah, actually I'm gonna put two um, to hold it up nice and strong so that this definitely does not come off the wall. And I'm gonna give this area a brief wipe down with some rubbing alcohol. This makes sure the area is nice and clean. Now I've got my box of command hooks extra command hooks and also the little adhesive strips. So I'm gonna grab two big strips for my nails. The red side is the command hook side and that's the one I'm gonna put in the back of here. Boom. And then you can see it says wall side. So that's the side you're actually gonna adhere to the wall. And the bottom of this is sticking out. So this is gonna be the top and this is my bottom. So I'm gonna make a nice level line with my level here so that I hang it nice and straight. <laughs> You wanna hold it up against the wall for 30 seconds. Just give a little bit of pressure. That way you can have the command hook bond to the wall and you wanna have accidents in the future. So make sure that you give it a good amount of time. So they're up, they're adhered, they've been pressed. Let them hang out there for an hour and then you can hang your stuff on there. Don't, don't, don't do it sooner. Actually, I've let it gone for like 24 hours before. Just let them hang out there. Let them like love on the wall. Let them love on the wall. After the right amount of time has passed, you can go ahead and hang your art.
So I keep my collection of command hooks in this little cute box, and as you can see, it is labeled. I used to keep felt pads in there, but I don't anymore. I just keep command hooks. And I keep the adhesive strips in a bag like this, and here are the rest of my command hooks. I keep um, extra command hooks because my needs change just like my life changes, so I always like to have extra command hooks on hand. And this box lives in my utility closet, just in the first drawer here. Boom, he kind of fits perfect. Okay, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my command hook tour of my home. If you guys use command hooks in a brilliant way in your home, let me know in a comment down below. Leave it in the comments. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you don't, give it a big thumbs down, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, thanks for watching.